the Nazis destroyed the synagogues across East, Eastern Europe. And we had so many devastating losses as a Jewish community. So to be able to see this whole restored is also about how we are feeling whole and restored. We are a country of immigrants, and as a country of immigrants, our diversity, the safety that America offered our families fleeing from many parts of the world, for us in the Jewish community, largely from Eastern Europe, but for other peoples from other places, that's all signified by this mural, because this was an immigrant piece of art. The estimates are that there were stone synagogues, there were brick synagogues, there were also over 700 wooden synagogues in Lithuania, of which it's estimated that 500 had, would, had murals like this. And there's one that survives in Lithuania now. We have the other one here, which is an incredible uh, story. In memory of their families, any immigrant or indigenous folks. So there are many examples of art in our display cases in books and documents. What I learned about the mural and what it is and the story behind the artist, you know, I was completely amazed. And there is nothing like this elsewhere in this country. It is certainly, you know, a representation of a style that was um, present throughout Europe. But I had never heard of anyone bringing that style to the United States. And therefore, you know, it, it makes it both a treasure and also a um, significant work, both in American Jewish religious life and, Amer and the world of art in this country. It was largely supported by a, a, a more than a third of individual donations, about a third of business donations, and another third of foundations. So this is not just a foundation-led project. Yeah. This is really a incredible piece of work, a monumental effort by many, many hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of donors. And was flaking so bad that if you just touch it, it would fall off the paint, okay, because it's